I am truly as unenthusiastic. <laughs> no? Go ahead. Bordering on apathetic. Wow. Which you've never heard me say pertaining no. to the NBA. Toward the rest of the NBA season, as I've been in a long, long time. Why? Season's over. Bucks have no shot if they somehow come back and win two games. Raptors have no shot to beat the. This thing's a wrap. Why do you think that? Here's here's why I would challenge it. Because wrap. Uh, Ka- Kawhi Leonard is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. We know that. We've known it for a long time. We just kind of had kept it under the radar. Uh, from when he first won that defensive player of the year in the NBA. I forget what year that was, 2013 or 14, whatever year it was. He And then he started to develop a shot. <laughs> so he became a shooter as well as a great defensive player. And then we started to put him in that MVP type category. Never really, get, never got one, uh, even though he was in the conversation. But then we, like, he, he fell off because the Spurs uh, – controversy that went on two years ago or a season and a half ago uh, where he had a quad injury and he was really wasn't being a team player or communicating with the team. We just kind of forgot about how good he was because we were caught up in the drama that was surrounding his career with pop and the, and the Spurs. But then he gets to, to Toronto. And again, we knew he was good, right? But he had, like, maintenance days. It's like, what kind of star takes maintenance days? Mm. You know, how, how much can we trust in Kawhi Leonard? But what we're seeing is the Kawhi that we should now remember yep. how good he was and how good he was becoming. So I, in, in, a, in a theoretical vacuum, I'm going to say I agree with you. Mm-hmm. Golden State Warriors are going to maybe gentlemanly sweep whoever gets into the East, gets in from the East. I don't even think they need Kevin Durant at this point. I I, I really don't. I I don't either. I really don't. But isn't Kawhi Leonard giving you pause because he's, he's, he's elevating to that stage where he can, he wills things to happen. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they didn't play well at all in the first half of this game and on the road against the best team in basketball, at least by record. And certainly in the East, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, they found a way to come back and dominate. I mean, Kawhi was amazing. Not only did Not he score he 35 points, but I read the stat, and I didn't realize it as I was watching it, but every one of his assists was a three-pointer. Like, mm. It led to a three-pointer. Uh-huh. All nine of his assists led to three-pointers, which is crazy. Wow. I didn't so see that. You, you, okay. you, you give his, yeah, yeah, his still score still and, me here. and Great. all these things. It just, every assist led to a three. Terrific. Warriors in five. I, 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 I mean, I, I'm sorry. But, I can't, I can't mask doubt, it. But can't you doubt it just a little no, bit? No. I, well, listen. Kawhi, now here come the platitudes. Kawhi was masterful. Masterful. Freddie Van Vliet, mm-hmm. you know, found this shot. Have more babies, Freddie. Yeah, keep, keep, <laughs> keep pumping them out, you know. But here's the problem. And it was said on the broadcast. It was very quick. It was, very, it was a very quick insertion. I wish that Reggie would have circled back to it or Marv. Mm-hmm. But based on the flow of the game at that point, they were unable. They didn't have a natural stoppage. Yeah. So that kind of keep going with the play-by-play. Seawed said something really interesting. Giannis is beginning to craft his game, like mold and 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 almost um, uh, position his game around contact. Because in, in the eyes of Seawed, and I don't disagree. Mm-hmm. He is very reticent to go to the free throw line for fear of being embarrassed. Oh, interesting. I mean, if he doesn't miss it, it with entirely with an air ball, he's cranking up bricks. How the hell is that? How does an MVP? Now, I know it wasn't like, you know, six for 30, but four for nine yeah. is pitiful. Yeah. Well, I could roll that right now with a dress shirt and do that with my eyes shut. Well, that becomes, How do you hit four out of nine free throws? It's interesting because that you make him a liability at the end of game. Well, that's what I'm saying. And here's the other thing with Giannis. And it's in stark contrast to Kawhi. Now, the problem with Kawhi is that they will have multiple defenders to that that the Bucks don't. You know, whether it's Draymond trying to muscle them up for six, seven minutes here, whether it's Clay who's longer. You know, if the Raptors advance and they find a way to win one of these next two games here, um, I, I, again, I, I believe the Warriors win pretty easily. Mm-hmm. But if it is somehow the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, watch Giannis like – 
And, and I said this. I've said this the last couple of days. If you can't shoot, you're not a star. Yeah. And even deeper than that, you watch him try to create. Like as he dribbles, he gets sloppy. Yeah. He's because he's not a natural ball handler. Okay. Like well, then how is he business. a natural superstar? <laughs> what does he do he, besides he dunk? Score. Because he can score. Okay. Now the problem is when you like. We're talking about Kawhi on the offensive side. What Kawhi did defensively against Giannis was amazing. He's given away at least three inches, right? But what he did defensively, forcing him into the mid-range, to, which to your point, BT, he, he's not good at talking about Giannis. He can't make that shot, right? He shot a couple air balls from the, from the mid-range, basically from the free throw extended. He can't, he's, he's not that good of a shooter. So Kawhi is in his head offensively, but also on the defensive side as well. Look, I, that, this is why... And this is why I'm still, like, debating your initial thought that you're not engaged. You don't believe that either one of these teams have a chance. No. I, I would agree with you with the Bucks, right? Because I, it, Giannis can't be the – he's not – he can't score 50 against a great defender or a great defense. And that's what Toronto and Kawhi Leonard are doing right now. We know that's what Steve Kerr and the, and the Golden State Warriors are going to do. So Milwaukee, I'm almost – like as much as I hate to say it, I just I don't believe in them right now. Mm-hmm. As crazy as it is, and and up until a few games ago, I would have said oh, I absolutely believe in the Milwaukee Bucks. But what Toronto has been able to do to them, what Nick Nurse has been able to do do to them in his first year as the head man, is it's troubling if you're a Milwaukee Bucks fan. But Toronto. There's something there, oh, man. So now you're going to start convincing yourself no, that the Raptors well, have a chance to beat the Warriors when all, I, all, all April and May were saying the Raptors have no, no but, chance uh, uh, to beat the Warriors because they won one game just, against a team that's not as good as we thought they were. There's something about Kawhi. It's, it's something about Kawhi. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's I just, mean I, look, I don't want to believe that it's fate because I don't believe in those, those that nonsense. You know what I mean? It's it's We were fated to win. That's why we were able to come back from 10 and you know and beat the Bucs at home. I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. But I do believe that um, um, uh, Ujiri had a great – he had a thought. He had a, had a mindset when he put this team together, getting rid of – Really good players, DeRozan, like Demar Derozan, and mm-hmm. getting a great player, yes, like Kyrie. Heck yeah, you know, even even, with, even risk. with the coach is yeah. proving to be probably the right call. Yeah, how could you? They were one right. away from doing something they'd never done in their entire it, existence. It, exactly. So I don't. It, so it's not fate, but it is. It's it's calculated, and it's working out. And I and I believe sure. that. Like when it, when when the when a calculated decision that. You scratched your head at at the time. You're going to go get Kawhi Leonard after he sat out the whole season with a quad injury and, and get rid of one of your stalwarts mm-hmm. and, and ship him down to Houston and, and uh, I mean, uh, to San Antonio. And, and, and then you're going to fire your coach, Dwayne Casey, who is really good. Very good he, coach. He won coach of the year. Yes, he right? did. And you fire him and you bring in his assistant. So it's kind of the same system, but not really because you don't have the head man. Like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. But then it starts to work. Mm-hmm. There's something to that, and especially because Kawhi is now playing 40 plus minutes, uh, and he's balling despite being injured, limping around, whatever. It doesn't matter. He's 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 on a different plane. So I have a belief there, even though even though I still think that this is the Warriors' uh, year for a championship. Good try. Honestly, it's a good effort. Good hustle. Honestly, I'm, I, I'm a, I, I, we still got two games left. So in the, it's in over. The Eastern Conference. I it's can't over. Count Just out get the honestly season. get into the draft. It's over. This is over. <laughs> the only intrigue that remains is, does Kevin Durant play another second for the Warriors? Mm-hmm. And then what happens with the draft? And when is Anthony Davis uh, traded? Is he traded? Who is signing where? Listen, uh, let, let's just for a moment push the Raptors. Let's push them into the NBA Finals. Okay. Cle- Steph Curry is going to devour Kyle Lowry. Devour him. Great point. All right. Draymond... Is gonna. I said this before, beat and up, the combination of beat of, up Kawhi. Yeah, the, the length of Clay will make it a little tougher for you know for that mid range shot that he's very adept at, and you know Draymond's toughness and defensive savviness will you know muscle him up and make him uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And then, so, and by the way, it, it, once you put Draymond on Siakam, Siakam's gonna disappear. <laughs> I mean, Siakam's not ready. Siakam's going to be a very good player, but he disappears in spurts and. You know, it's been it's been out there this entire series to see it, where he flashes and then he's gone, and then he fla- and that's what young kids do. Yeah, I get it. You're playing against grown men. He's not a grown man yet. He's going to be a star. That didn't embolden you last night at all. You're saying, and, you know, l- listen. If the Bucks, w- this is here. This is the irony. If the Bucks would have destroyed the Raptors like I thought they were last night, 
I thought this would be a relatively deep series when they started. I, I think I said the Bucks in six, you know, and I said last night they would cover the seven. I think I even said flippantly they'll be up like 32 to 17 at one point, and it was almost 32 to 17. Yeah. Like this thing had traction to be a complete route. If the Bucks delivered the route, all right, and then they eventually won, whether it's game six in Toronto or game seven back in Milwaukee on, on Monday, Memorial Day. Now, then I, I would have felt a little differently. But I got my answer last night about the Bucks, And I've been hinting at this now for the last three or four days. You cannot beat championship-worthy teams mm -hmm. where Giannis is right now at this stage of his development. Yeah. He cannot shoot. He is reluctant to shoot. He cannot create enough for my taste he's sloppy with the basketball he's a horrendous free throw shooter and listen the other guys Bledsoe's a bricklayer I mean Bledsoe and they said it on the broadcast the worst thing that happened to Bledsoe last night was he knocked down his first three because then he starts to think oh I am a good throw three point shooter no you're not yeah you're right they're 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 daring you to shoot that what you're good at is getting to the rim because mm -hmm. you're strong and you're fast so I think I overrated the bucks a little bit and while the Raptors are a terrific story, uh, they're a second-class citizen to the Warriors. I'm sorry. It's over. It's a wrap. I'm not changing my mind. Samter said it's a wrap. It, Samter said it was over actually eight months ago. <laughs> He's probably right, but I'm trying to live in the moment. Uh -huh.